Okay, so on today's... We're gonna talk about colorism. Why we're gonna talk about colorism, you ask? I think that everything matters. I'm gonna always stand on what I say, whether you like it or not. This is my opinion based on what I read and educate myself and know about based on what I've seen, what I've heard, what I've experienced for myself. That being said, I am a black girl. Growing up, I was born in a country that I was not raised in and then I was raised in the islands. Growing up in the islands, people you had girls that looked Indian, looked Arab, like everybody was different. You had dark skin, light skin, it never mattered to me. Like I never thought about those things until when I had like a roommate and like she would always comment on like my color and be like, Oh, that's why she's like that. And she's mixed, that's why she's like that. And I'm just like she would always just like make comments sometimes about like my color and then like you know after that like i started like really learning about colorism and stuff and then like seeing how people would like bleach their skin and stuff um, it's just like okay now i get it now it is not my fault that you decide that you want to be less confident because they've introduced that to you confidence comes from within there are people that are constantly shamed about their bodies and went on to make millions because that didn't put them down and make them feel insecure and irrelevant they use that as their power to be wonderful people like look at viola davis just put out a documentary with oprah she has a book out her memoir and like she talked about how she was bullied and look at viola davis now now i'm not saying it doesn't hurt you of course it does but you can't let what people say and stuff like that keep you from being the best you can be and worse yet projecting that shit onto other people like that is just like the worst thing that you can do and there are people that do that recently 